If you are new to music production and have been wanting to learn how to mix your beats, you're in luck. What if I told you you can turn something that sounds like this? Into this? With just one button, even if you have absolutely no clue about mixing. Do you want to know how is that possible? In this video, I'm going to show you how. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am DJ Legion and today I'm going to be talking about how to mix beats using one of the most underrated software from Isotop, Neutron. No, this video is not sports short. I just thought that if you have difficulties getting a balanced mix or your mixes do not sound like the other mixes that you hear on the radio, this might be the tool you have been looking for to improve your sound and at the end of the day, just to let you concentrate more on your production skills instead of spending days for mixing sessions on your beats. Enough with the talking, let's jump into Logic and start mixing a bit with Neutron 4. In this project, I got the stems from a track that I made some time ago. I separated the tracks into groups. The first one is the 808 with a kick. There is a reason why I put the kick with the 808 and not with the other drums. The reason is that I wanted to process the 808 with the kick together on the same bass. Here we got the drums. Okay, here we got the effects such as reverse uh, crash and some other effects. Then I separated the melodies that play in the chorus from the melodies that play in the verse. Let's have a listen to the whole track, how it sounds without any processing, so I'm going to open everything here, also the mix, the mixer here is empty, these are just some sand buses and these are bypass, so let's have a quick listen, how it sounds without any processing. Now that we heard how it sounds without processing, we can see right away that we are clipping. And the first thing you need to do is to get your levels right before you start processing the channels, because right now everything is all over the place. So what I will do now is I will just insert the Neutron plugin to every channel. Okay, so now that we got our groups here. This is one group from the melodies. This is the other one. This is these are the effects, the drums and the kick. Everything has a noise plugin inserted. You may ask me why did I do that? The reason why is because I'm going to use the virtual mixer from Neutron Pro on my master channel to get the balanced mix. So we go on my pre-master here in this case, and I will choose the Neutron for visual mixer. And here 
you can see on the, on the right side, we have all our channels that include the Neutron plugin. Now to achieve this balance mix, we need to hit here on the mix assistant and then we let the song play from the beginning. But before we do that, we choose here, which is our main focus of our track. In this case, is the main melody here. I will choose everything, but not the group channel. So for example, I will take out this one, 808 and kick. I will take out the drums. I will take out the melodies from the chorus, the melodies from the verse and the effects. Now we just need to begin listening and start the track from the beginning. Okay, now let's go to the results. Let's have a listen now how it sounds only on the chorus, for example. After that, we press edit classification here. Let's go, for example, the 808 is not a musical, it's a bass. Okay, also here, for example, the club is not a musical, it's just a percussion element. And am I missing some? Yeah, this one also is a percussion element. So after that, we hit accept. I forgot to mention earlier that, of course, you can change the volume from the elements, but I just left it as it is, like I had no idea about mixing. Inside Mix Assistant here, I can rearrange the volume and the position of the channels, but for the purpose of this video, I will just leave it as it is and I will not do anything. To do a proper comparison between how it was before and how it is now, I have to add a limiter on the master channel to match the volume between the previous version and the current version. Right now this track hits near minus 23 LUFS. Let's deactivate the Neutron plugin. Okay, without any processing, it hits minus 10 LUFS, so that means we have to boost here a little bit. Okay, now let's go and compare it. Right now it sounds much more balanced, but I would still correct some small things. For example, this percussion that is, is a little bit too loud. Where is it? This one, I think. Yeah. Now let's start and mix the 808 and the kick. The Neutral plugin has an assistant which listens to your audio and it makes some changes. Let's go and put it on the 808 first. In this case, Neutron plugin recognized the 808 as a guitar, but I will choose the sub bass here. Where is it? And I will put this slider here on 30%.
what I did here, I will do also to the other channels. I will let the mixing assistant do the job and put the slider at 30%. I could also dive in deeper explaining what those functions here are. For example, the punch, the attack, the sustain, the distort and the width. But I will do it in another video. This video is all about getting a satisfying end result as quick and effortless as possible. What I did here, I will do also to all the channels from my project. I will let the mixing assistant do the job and put the slider at 30%. Now that I finished with the mixing assistant from every channel, the only thing that I will change is sidechaining the A to A to the kick. I want to do this because I want the kick to have more space to glow. So what I do, I go on the A to A here. Let's go and zoom in. Let's choose this loop, for example, here and put it on solo, both of them. And go on the A to A, open the Neutron plugin. Okay. And then we go here and then we select unmask and we choose from the side chain input the kick. Let's go and have a listen. Okay, after that, I will go also on our groups and I will use Mix Assistant again here on my group. Let's go solve the 8 8 and the kick and use the Mix Assistant. Choose again 30% here. Let's have a listen how it sounds on 30%. Let's leave it on 20. Okay, I will do the same with the drums. Now let's just quick forward and I will do the rest of the elements. Now that I finished all the channels and all the groups, we have one more thing to do. Last but not least, I will just put again the Noid plugin on the Premaster channel, let the mix assistant do the work, and I will explain in a while what I want to do. Here I want to choose a custom target and I will just choose a track from Jewish World, the cigarettes track. The Neutron plugin will try to emulate the sound from the target track to the original track and come as close as possible to the final sound. Unfortunately, I cannot play the original track from Jewish World because I don't want this video to get flagged. Now let's just play the chorus again and I will just play with the tone much and see how, how I like the sound. Now let's listen to the final results and compare the tracks, how it was earlier and how it is now. I can hear right away when the verse comes there's a big volume difference there 
and this has to be fixed manually. But the whole point is that everything that Deutsche plugin does is really pressing in my opinion. This is done with only one plugin and without almost requiring any knowledge of mixing skills. What is my opinion about that? I find technology has improved really well and Isotope has done great work here. But I wouldn't work like this to say the truth. Do not take me wrong, this plugin is awesome, but I prefer spending more time on my tracks to achieve this final result that I really want, but this may just be me. I would really like to hear from you guys what is your opinion about using artificial intelligence for mixing. Leave a comment below and let me know please. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to improve your mixing and producer skills. See you next time.